I find myself here at Lion's Head Provincial Park, about a four hour drive from Toronto. I'm gonna check out the views here, head down to the lake, do a little bit of camping in my brand new tent and just enjoy the weather. Oh yeah, wow, okay. <laughs> So Lion's Head is clearly a big cliff face. And what's cool about it is it's part of a bigger system called an escarpment. And this escarpment runs for hundreds and hundreds of kilometers, all the way down from past Niagara Falls up to Tobermory, a cloud 100 kilometers from here. This escarpment is the exact same thing that Niagara Falls runs off of. Really cool because that's a couple hundred kilometers to the south of me. This is the same formation. Geology is cool. little fact is that some of the oldest trees in the world and the oldest trees here in Ontario actually grow on the cliff faces here on the Niagara Escarpment. They're a type of eastern white cedar and they grow really old and really gnarly and really really small. They almost look like shrubs but they just grow for hundreds if not thousands of years. I guess because they're up off the ground they're nice and protected. I don't know exactly the mechanism of how they grow but it's pretty cool because the oldest trees in Ontario are right here on the Niagara Escarpment and the oldest tree in Ontario is right here in Lion's Head. I'm not exactly sure where it is, but uh, so I've read. Looks like we're starting to head down the escarpment towards the lake in McKay's Harbor. <laughs> this is so cool. Cool place, cool place. Might as well be an ocean, eh? It's enormous. Georgian Bay. Beautiful. Why is nobody out here? What the heck? It's amazing. This is it. This is the campsite. And it looks like I have it all to myself tonight. It's the best part about coming on a Tuesday on the off season. Nobody's here. So now just time to find a place to set up my new tent. I guess you can't really call it a tent. It's a hammock. It's a hammock tent from a muck. Usually when you get new gear, you're supposed to test it at home. I'm not really exactly sure what I'm looking for. I've seen John set up his hammock tent once or twice. You know what? I wasn't really paying attention. 
He advised me not to try to set it up myself and that I should wait for us to do it on the same trip together. But I said, you're not my dad, John. This will be my first time trying out a hammock tent. Shout out to Amic Hammocks for setting this out. I got the Amic Drummer Ultralight with the Ultralight Tarp and the Winter Sleeping Pad XL size. This is not a sponsored video by any means. Now I just gotta figure out how to use it. It's one. Oh, there's a little, that makes sense. I like how one side's green, the other side's red. So once I figure out which side's which, I'll know forever. It's something, all right. What's cool about this hammock is with traditional hammocks, you need to carry an underquilt with you because when you're sleeping in a hammock, all the downfill from your sleeping bag gets all compressed against the hammock. So you lose all that loft and you get a really cold back. So you need to put something underneath it to keep it nice and warm. With this, you use a sleeping pad. And the sleeping pad is what also gives this hammock structure because I'm not gonna be sleeping awesome. in between the trees, towards the trees, I'm gonna be sleeping perpendicular to them. It's definitely comfy in here. No doubt about that. Red carabiner for the tarp with the red buckle from the hammock. Green carabiner with the green buckle. Easy. All these guy lines have these little Velcro straps on them to keep them all nice and tidy and it stays attached to the tarp. Sweet. So we're not allowed to have fires here so I decided just to bring my little propane stove and I'm just gonna cook up a quick dry meal. Nothing fancy, but tasty, maybe tasty. I don't know, we're gonna do it. Ginger peach. So tonight for dinner, dehydrated egg noodles, dehydrated mushrooms, onions, ground beef, broccoli, dehydrated Alfredo sauce. I dehydrated all these things at home last year actually, but I've been keeping them in my freezer, so they should be good. Should be. It tastes like old rehydrated food. <laughs> I got a good couple liters of it. It's got like a fishy taste to it too. He's cute, but he's conditioned to be around humans, so I gotta be careful with my food. God, it's so, it's so beautiful. You just wanna keep it around and feed it, but that's the exact opposite of what you wanna do. 
these things can't be conditioned to be around humans because once they get accustomed to being around humans, they start going into your food and your bags and they just like expect you to feed them every time. So it's better you scare them away almost. When I'm in the back country, all the animals are just scared of you. They run away. But here at these public campsites, when they're used to being fed or they're used to campers who leave food around, food scraps around, they get used to coming here and eating that food and getting food. And so this campsite becomes a source of food for them and it ultimately becomes dangerous, especially when bears are involved. Come on, dude. Gotta get out of here, brother. Just a little fox. Beautiful little creature, but I can't feed those things. Don't feed those things. Don't feed the wildlife, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe in your backyard, but not at campsites. I fortunately thought ahead and I brought a line, so I'm gonna hang this line in the tree to hang up all my food, food scraps, and cooking utensils. Thanks, boy. So now tonight, when I'm ready to go to bed, attach my food bag to this, put it up in the tree, get it away from the animals. just that one light out there you can see a bit of glow from a distant town but it's it's pretty quiet out here I hiked back to that part of the beach where I first got down to the lake and I just wanted to check it out some birds over there making a real ruckus hard to tell how far away because sound carries quite far at night can't believe I have this whole place to myself Whoa! Oh Lord! Hang on! <laughs> well, that was a great day, but I'm looking forward to a good night's sleep. So, good night everyone. Great little one-nighter here at Lion's Head Park. That scenery, that hike, those cliff bases. It's hard to believe that that's here in Ontario. And this campsite down here on George Bay is absolutely beautiful as well. That tent from Amic, huge shout out to them for sending that out. Very, very cool. Can't wait to use it again. But I should get going because I got a canoe trip that I'm getting ready for for next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.